Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to use raycasting to interact with objects. Raycasts are also known as line trace um, in UE4. So, uh, so far we've got this level that we have pro, uh, from previous tutorials. We have this platform that can rotate and the platform can also shoot if you remember using the shoot event. So what we're going to do is get rid of the rotate event on tick. So we don't want it to rotate and we want it to shoot only when we interact with it using raycast. So we're going to look at the thing, look at the platform and then do something. So let's go to first person character. Got some unused inputs. Well, there is um, input action reset player, which is uh, the F key, which is from quite an early tutorial. So let's use that. And um, instead of set actor location, we're going to get rid of it and add some of our new stuff. If you haven't been following the previous tutorials, then you can create new input action by just going to edit uh, project settings, input, and here you can add our new actions in the bindings section. So we have reset player, which is bound to the F key. Uh, when it's pressed, we want to we want to do a line trace. Let's see, line trace by channel. That's probably what we want. Let's just take this. This you can. Um, select both of these things by selecting shift and then um, clicking on both of the nodes. So you can drag both of them. Let's put them here. Line trace by channel. Yes, visibility. Um, start and end. So start is where our camera is. Let's use that. Uh, first person camera get forward vector that gives us the direction where the camera is pointing we can use that and well this is not start or the end the start is get location get forward location this will do this is our start so where the camera is um, and then end is the camera's location plus where we're looking at plus or multiplied by the uh, distance. This is some uh, basic vector maths if you use them. If not, just Google them. They're not too complex. Uh, get forward vector. This needs to be multiply first because it's a unit vector, which means its length is one. And we're going to scale it by 300, I think. Get world location. This is the start. We can use this and then add with the result of that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Add, and we're adding vector plus vector. And that is the end point of our line trace. So in short, this casts array from the start to the end, and then gives us all the objects that we hit with that line. Trace complex, actors to ignore. I don't think we need any of these. Um, out hit is the data structure, which we can then break. If you just type break. And this will give us some options. And there's also a nice return um, Boolean value that tells us if a uh, raycast hit something. So we want to say a branch here, because if it hits something, then we want to do something. Otherwise, what's the point? So if true, what do we want to do? We want to check if the actor that we hit is a platform, is this thing. So hit actor. Uh, how do you, oh yeah, it's cost two. Yeah, I forgot that you do it differently in UE4. 
you cast to something and then you see whether the output was valid. So cast to platform. And then if cast fail, you, you can do something else. So if recast succeeded, then do cast to platform um, using this actor. And then if that is successful, then do something else like call shoot. Because it's a the reference that comes back out of it of this node is of type platform, we can call something that is specific to the platform, which is the shoot event that we created a long time ago. Let's compile and save this. And let's try. Well, I can go get close to this thing. And if I pre uh, press F, it shoots with a delay. I've got to get rid of this delay because that's not very useful feedback uh, platform. Yeah, so that delay thing is causing the delay. So you get rid of that, compile, save. Now when we call shoot, it will shoot. So the delay should have really been out of the shoot um, event method function, whatever you want to call it. So now if I press E on it, now it's F. I'm just so used to E being the use key. So I really have to get reasonably close to this thing. And, and you can you can see the shadow of this thing shooting. And if I stand far away, then nothing happens. What's the range of this thing? Let's increase the range and so you can kind of see how this works. Let's make it 600. And you can see that I can now um, stand further away and then still interact with this thing. And if I press uh, if I press F on something else, nothing happens because these are not um, actors of type platform. So cast fails. Right. So in this tutorial, we've used um, our line trace, which is um, a recasting method which allows us to figure out if our um, character is looking at something. And then by checking the actor that we hit with the uh, line, we can figure out what the actor is, more or less. And then by casting it to the actual type that we're looking for, we can then perform some actions. I suppose if you want more types, you could check when cast fails, try to cast some, to something else, and then do it that way. And in the future tutorials, we might be able to use recasting, say, with things like furniture to kind of interact with the furniture and maybe some like wardrobe that opens its drawers. Okay, see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.